if we think about this African uh, market, of course, it's been uh, quite sluggish, and we, we don't predict any stellar growth into the, into the future, but it's largely been dominated by uh, imports over the last uh, few years, and of course, our challenge is how to increase local content and sales of locally manufactured uh, vehicles. We also have uh, a very high tax burden on vehicles. If you look at the average a tax burden, roughly 42% of the price of a vehicle sold in South Africa is in some form or other impacted on uh, local taxes. We have made some good progress over the last few years in terms of our balance of payment impact uh, to the South African economy, and uh, that's been very positive. It took a slight dip last year, but that was largely due to the changes in the exchange rate. We're forecasting that that will continue to grow. Uh, so our efforts in terms of localization and uh, increased competitiveness have certainly borne some fruit. So where are we? Well, we do have an industry that has tremendous scope for, for growth. Uh, there's a latent sales opportunity in South Africa, of course, providing affordable access to mobility is a key economic uh, contributor. And this has been to some degree um, subdued because of the economic climate, because of the lack of growth, but obviously also because of the, the taxation we have in, in South Africa. We're also an industry that is very reliant on exports, exports to far distant markets that put tremendous pressure on our competitive uh, levels. We need to compete as part of a global supply chain, but we have been successful being able to achieve a very good reputation from some very demanding markets around the world in terms of uh, supplyability, quality, and uh, competitiveness. The whole program in South Africa, we are fortunate and it's been uh, very well supported by the South African government and the DTI through the establishment of the APDP uh, trade related investment measure which seeks to provide rebates on import duties. Because of that certainty and continuous uh, long term vision, we've been able to grow the industry uh, from decade to decade. Two years ago, we started the process of discussing what should our master plan be? What is our long-term horizon as an auto industry? And how can we strengthen our contribution, solve some of the challenges we have uh, in the South African market? We created uh, some very aspirational targets that look at more than doubling our production volume, doubling employment in the value chain, uh, getting to 50% black-owned enterprises in the tier two and three uh, component industry, strengthening our R&D, our competitiveness, and, uh, and building our contribution to the country. This is uh, formulated in a very detailed plan and works all the way through to 2035. If we now look at our five-year business plan, we're saying concretely what are we going to do now? And we see a significant increase in production volumes, uh, largely buoyed by uh, some growth in the export markets. But we are also very cognizant of the fact that we need to strengthen our penetration into Africa. To support this uh, significant growth in, in production, but also growth in local content, uh, we are going to increase our investments to the tune of 40 billion rand, and that's excluding the investments from our uh, local component suppliers as well. And so that'll go a long way to uh, increasing the local content and our competitiveness as an industry. From an employment point of view, of course, we'd like to uh, try and multiply impact uh, in the value chain and what we're seeing is even with this growth we will not see significant employment increases in the manufacturing seven OEMs but we will see significant increases in employment in our supply base specifically in tier two and three suppliers and I'll elaborate on that uh, a little bit later. We also see some nice increases in youth employment and agenda email employment. So, to talk about uh, two uh, quick areas, first of all, transformation. Our strategy is, as an industry, we've got together, and together with the DTI, we are formulating an automotive transformation fund uh, that primarily will look at investing and developing skills within our supply base to grow this local content. And that's where the job opportunities, the transformation opportunities, but also uh, the significant uh, local purchase opportunities will come from. We're also going to continue to push uh, the development of our transformation within our own enterprises in terms of preferential procurement and enterprise development, and then also look at what we can do to bring in the informal sector in the auto industry into a more formalized uh, sector. In terms of our investment priorities, we're going to be focusing, as I mentioned, on the uh, component sector, 
a large portion of, portion of our investment will be going into advanced manufacturing. We have significant uh, fourth, fourth industrial revolution uh, impacts in the South African motor industry and we need to continue to invest in that so we stay upfront and competitive with other global manufacturers. And then lastly, in our retail network, to uplift uh, our retail network in terms of leadership and ownership from a transformation uh, perspective. In terms of our uh, interventions and our priority interventions, we went through a review of what is impacting on the demand side and the supply side. I won't touch on that in too much detail now, but rather I'd like to go through just some of our focus areas in terms of our five-year business plan. And these all need to uh, connect to our overall master plan that guides our thinking. So if I may, I'd like to just highlight seven of the uh, key initiatives. Uh, the first one is we need to increase the domestic consumption and grow and stimulate uh, vehicle demand in South Africa. It's, as I mentioned, a key contributor to economically being economically active, and access to that is key. We have initiated a Africa Auto Pact. We need to grow that and create an opportunity where the South African businesses have a clearer advantage in doing business within Africa as a, as a, as a continent. And of course, uh, we also need to look at let me read this. <laughs> we also need to look at uh, industrial relations. Of course, this is a key issue in terms of uh, the deindustrialization that's starting to take place in South Africa. And as an auto industry, stable supply, stable labor relations is a key component uh, going forward. We need to invest in uh, more advanced technologies. We certainly need uh, support to do that, especially with our scale being uh, so low. And we need to look at how we can improve our port and rail efficiencies and infrastructure investment if we are to achieve these very aspirational uh, targets. And lastly, our supply chain from a skills development point of view needs to be better coordinated uh, and supported. Right now, it's very fragmented, and I think there's a significant need in which we get together automotive and components uh, to have a stronger approach to uh, skill development.